All right, I'm gonna talk a little about React Query for you guys, and I'm out walking here in Sweden with my there she is, my beautiful wife, Hi. and it's beautiful weather here. So I thought it could be great to talk about React Query because React Query is actually also beautiful. You may wonder also if I'm sponsored in any way, but I'm not. I just want to talk about it because I've been using React Query quite heavily for a year now. And uh, there's a lot of fuss going on about it, actually. Um, and uh, a lot of people tweet about it and talk about it. So I thought it would be great to actually give you some information on what is great with React Query. So what's all the fuss about? Well, first of all, I think React Query is awesome to use because of, it, of uh, its capabilities to cache your stuff, you cache your server data. And uh, that's a big, big thing with React Query. And I know that a lot of people actually compare it to Redux, for example, but there's actually two different things, I think, because React Query is more like a cache library, if you say it like that, and Redux is more like a state management library. And React Query isn't really a state management library, I, I think, at least in my opinion. So you have this cache ability, it will take care of everything for you and keep your data updated when you fetch data from your API or your server. And one other thing is that React Query is actually something that's called agnostic, meaning that it doesn't care how you grab your data, so you can use it both for GraphQL and REST API, and that's super, super sweet. I've been using it the last year for my client and we, we're using both REST and GraphQL. So now I've actually stopped using Apollo Client, for example, that we used before for the GraphQL queries and mutations. I'm only using React Query for both GraphQL and REST now and it works so great to, together to just have one library. I don't need to have Apollo Client for the GraphQL stuff. So React Query is essentially a library of hooks. You can do all this stuff yourself if you want in React, but it takes care of everything for you. And another great thing is that it will have your loading states, your error states and stuff like that. You don't have to think about anything of that. You just import some small stuff and you use it kind of a, like a one-liner or maybe two or three lines of code. I don't know, it depends on the situation, but there will be very, very little code that you have to create yourself and it, if you do this yourself instead there, there would be a lot of work you have to put into it. And I'm actually quite uh, an early adopter of React Query. I've been using it for a while and been using it for a little bit over a year now for my client. And it also works great with TypeScript because our application is in TypeScript. So uh, I think that's about it I have to say about React Query. I just wanted to put out this little video to tell you to try it out if you don't have tried it yet. And actually also dare to try it with GraphQL because I know that most of you use it for REST APIs. But dare to try it with the GraphQL and you, I, I think you will be happy with it. I was actually kind of skeptical to it at the beginning but now I can see the benefit with it and I use it for GraphQL also. And if you like this one, subscribe to my channel and see you in another one.